Hello, I'm Don, G3BJ, and I'm the president of uh, IARU Region 1. I'm here at uh, Gilwell Park, and I must admit I've been completely blown away by the, uh, the, the, the competence and the, the excitement which this event has generated. We've got young people here from a lot of uh, countries around uh, the region, uh, and indeed from outside the region, and uh, they're all working together in a, in a really impressive way. Uh, we have here, of course, the next generation of radio amateurs, uh, and, and we've got to learn from what switches them on to amateur radio. I think one of the major uh, things I'm looking forward to in the future for amateur radio is the ability for future innovation. Uh, right now we've had lots of digital modes being invented uh, and being such as FT8, uh, there's a new innovation in uh, radio in rigs and in circuitry, but I think that to really make sure that keeps going on in the future there needs to be some links to the industry as well so we can have much in the same way that amateur hobbies before have become commercial activities, we can have that going on and have uh, further improvements to the hobby. I think that one of the problems that's developing right now is noise levels, especially on HF from household technology and consumer devices. And yesterday we visited the Ofcom Bulldog listening station and we learned that um, although much has been done to monitor it, it's, uh, it's a real issue. Uh, we're actually monitoring and regulating the manufacturers and getting all the equipment properly tested. And I think that's something really important to watch out for in the future because if you have lots of noise on the HF bands and they become unusable, we won't be able to get young people and new people interested into the hobby. Oscar Reckon, Oscar Reckon, three factors. Well, to me, amateur radio is now getting actually more popular than ever. Uh, in Italy, we have a big increase in people licensed, and that's a good thing. But uh, when I see uh, amateur radio from the point of view of Yota 2017 and what the RSUB is doing for us, I see, you know, a bright future and um, an hobby that could really interest people not really maybe in the way that we are doing now in the HF but maybe in new things I think that uh, probably in the future satellites and space communication will go really really well otherwise I see my my country which is not really I think which is not really great in that it's not really great in pushing people to the hobby and to actually you know transform the hobby in the hobby of the future so actually I am actually positive because uh, I can see that this hobby can go really really further a friend of mine who actually was really into getting a satellite up the space I know that there are some association that actually make that possible with a small amount of money and uh, that's good that's good to actually improve our capabilities to really do what our hobby is for experiment things and uh, you know probably space will be uh, a good you know a good experiment for all of us Delta Lima to Whiskey United Cove thank you you're five and five I think the future of amateur radio will be more engaged with technology of that year. Now you see that the Austrians also made a radio and a telephone together. Uh, so I think that will be more uh, engaged in the future. Uh, I think uh, a lot of long, young people that are also working with it because the Austrians are like a uh, little older than me and they really wanted to make it happen. And as youngsters, you know a lot of uh, technology these days. So uh, to put those two together, that's going to be easier for youngsters who are really enthusiastic, I guess. Uh, well, I would really look like if more young people would participate in ham radio in my country, because it's very like getting old, like this uh, hobby, uh, and not a, and not a lot of new call signs getting like registered. A lot of people prefer contesting, just boring SSB contacts or, and CW contacts. I like those new things like digital modes, meter scattering and sat satellite communications. More, more young people should know about this hobby because once I was uh, not, a ham re not a ham, I knew about this hobby but I wouldn't really think about it. So, uh, But one thing in school made me think about 
becoming a ham and it turns out this hobby is way more than I thought it was. It's so interesting, like you meet so much new people, you learn to do so much new things and it's amazing, I think. Everyone should try it. The future of amateur radio should definitely go in the newest and latest and greatest technology side. Um, if you look at the new generation that's coming into amateur radio, everything is technology driven. The new cell phones, new laptops and, 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 and. So to go back to basics would be a problem, but I would say do not forget about the basics. <clears throat> you, would, you would definitely want to incorporate the newest technology, uh, use it, misuse it, modify it and tweak it so that it can fit amateur radio needs. So technology, well, especially the latest technology and amateur radio should walk parallel, hand in hand, but the basics should never be forgotten. Amateur radio needs quite a lot of exposure. Um, if I talk out of a South African eye point, um, exposure is a big problem because in South Africa, when you talk about I'm an amateur radio operator, they think you're a CB enthusiast and they've got actually no clue. So start with programs in schools, um, start with clubs, with activities, especially for the young children. Electronical wise, technology wise, however you can incorporate amateur radio somewhere, it should, it should really be, be done. Um, but don't forget about the electronical side of it. Because if you can teach the children in school, listen, let's build this, and they can actually see what it does, it'll just prickle that enthusiasm. So with that enthusiasm and the basics of amateur radio, it will be a, 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 quite a big joy for them to bring along the newest technology and incorporate that with amateur radio. So in short, I think amateur radio, it looks good. It looks different in the future, but it will most definitely not die a, a slow death.